Mama. Hey, gang. Welcome to What the Flick, Ben. <laughs> and uh, Christy with Hi. you. Uh, everybody else is at uh, festivals and busyness. This is Toronto is happening. Yes. Tell your ad happened. Venice happened. Yes. Um, we're here in Los Angeles. But we're here we're in Los in Angeles. Culver City, specifically. And we saw uh, a very, very uh, interesting horror movie. Yes. Yeah, so horror I'm is not even, it's not fair. I don't think, horror, I don't think that's fair. Horrific things happen. Yes. It's a psychological thriller. It's a psychological I'm gonna go with thriller. that. So I'm go. gonna try really, really hard while I'm talking about this to not give very, very much away. I actually would re recommend not reading anything, not really watching this even until afterward. <laughs> um, go into it knowing as little as possible. Here's what I'm gonna tell you is about um, it's this Austrian thriller called Goodnight Mommy. It's about these two nine year old identical twin boys who are waiting for their mom in this beautiful and chilly and minimalist house in the countryside in Austria. She comes back after some kind of reconstructive surgery, covered in bandages, and increasingly they begin to suspect that the woman who was returned is not actually their mom. Take a look. We got. We can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she has. Uh, yeah. She's bandaged up. She's had. I think you're right. We talked about it a little. There's a. There's been uh, what I guess was a maybe a car, some sort of accident that 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 affected her. But this surgery seems like it's because she works on television and mm -hmm. maybe just wanted a nose job. Right. Because clearly she's got some vanity. Definitely. And she's, she's left. Talent. And she's left <laughs> these kids. And they've. They, we learned that that the. They're separated from their father. We don't ever mm -hmm. see the father, but there's a separation, and 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 she just leaves these kids by themselves, and then comes back from the surgery. And is the reason why they think she's not their mom is she's very stern and cruel and different and, and different. And they say this is these are not the kind of things mm -hmm. that 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 our mom would do. Mm -hmm. um, and she's willingly leaving these kids to fend for themselves too. Mm -hmm. And does some and does some undeniably terrible things. And then we also get some dreams that they have, th where some horrible things happen in in the dreams of these kids. And they dream together. Right. They share dreams. And they're played by identical twins. Um, the, the characters' names are Lucas and Elias. And they're and played by, by little Lu boys named Lucas, whose names are Lucas and Elias. Yeah. So and then, so these dreams are the same. And then but you, there are moments where you're unclear. Mm -hmm. There's a very stylistic or uh, 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 a a a an editorial choice that we don't 100% know mm -hmm. when it's their dream and when it's something that actually happened. Yeah, and it's a very and it's very effective. Because it's dreamlike from the very very beginning. I mean, the images are largely wordless for a long time. The film is in German with subtitles, and a lot of what happens in the very very beginning before she comes home is just them having their own kind of silent twin communication, yeah. right? And they're playing in the fields and they're exploring as boys do in the summertime. Yeah, and caves yeah. and fields, everything, and streams and playing in the rain. Yeah. And, and yeah. it seems like it's innocent, playful, 
childhood stuff, but there, from the very, very beginning, there's this underlying tension. Like, right. There's, there's something tonally, there's like a buzz to it in the score. There's, there's a sense that something is off from the very, very beginning, and, and you're hooked from the very, very beginning. Um, and it keeps surprising you. I will yeah. say that your your feelings about these characters evolve throughout the film, mm -hmm. and, and, and your alliances with them change. change. Sure, yeah, definitely. And that's tough to do. And truly, you do not know where it's going to go. Um, no, I, I mean, I've I, yeah. I finished watching it this morning, uh, and I'm not 100 for sure percent sure where it went. Right, we like have you're going to want to. <laughs> it is exactly don't you shouldn't see it alone because you are going to want to have a conversation right. about it instantly as soon as it's over. Yeah, so um, written directed by Severin Fiala and Veronica Franz. And um, Severin apparently <laughs> babies. I was just reading Severin babysat Veronica's kids, uh -huh. like, and, and and then she would pay him in VHS tapes. <laughs> It's like something that Quentin Tarantino yeah. probably did at some point, too. So um, it's really great. Just great, chilly performances. Just the mood is precise throughout the entire film. The, um, that, as you mentioned, the house is yeah. minimalist. The setting is minimalist. So the is the house. dialogue. There's not, yeah. there's not a lot of dialogue. There are long stretches where you just hear one brother calling after the other mm -hmm. brother, you know. Or yeah. they're just doing things. Yeah. They do a lot of stuff. Yeah. They're so busy, but they don't talk a lot. There's a lot of moments <laughs> where one of the brothers calls the other brother, and you think... And there's not an immediate response, mm -hmm. and you think either, oh, my God, what is the other brother doing, or what has happened to the other yeah. brother? You're constantly ill at ease. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then, but other people do show up, like, yeah. and that's part of the tension, like, what's going to happen when outsiders come and see this weird little situation they found themselves in? Um, and that adds some some humor. The Red Cross people come for, for a donation, totally, yeah. and it's like it finally breaks the tension. Mm. Like, oh, thank God. It makes you not want to live in Austria, because the Red Cross people, they just come to your house. They just sit, sit there. They just sit there. They just wait for, for you to give you money. Um, yeah. But speaking of the house, though, the house is kind of a character, and I liked it the way I also liked the house in Ex Machina. Yeah. Which is also, mm, like, yeah. cool and industrial and not warm or inviting at all, and it has weird art everywhere, and I love yeah, it. Yeah, the art was really weird. The <laughs> art, and, and I don't know whether this was... Imagery, I got. I'm, I'm trying. So, I'm so worried about accidentally <laughs> revealing something. But, but like there are, appear to be photos of the the mom in the house, right? Yes. And and again, that that, that works with a, her being a somewhat of a television personality. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't see her face, and the, like they're blurred. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious whether whether they were really blurred, I see. or they want us to think that. Like, oh. like that no one can really see each other. I don't know. I don't know. Because if they're really blurred, it's bizarre art. I thought that was like her stylistic choice I don't to know. reflect. Again, it who might knows? Be. There it are might so be. many questions. It might be, right. yeah. So what's your number? Uh, I think I gave it a nine. It's really, really quite good. I'm saying 9.8. This is one of the best movies of the year. This is definitely on my top yeah, look, 10 uh, list. You know, the weird this is a good little fucked up movie. I liked it. You see things on a, <laughs> you know, on a computer and a link, yeah. and, and my link broke, and I split it up twice. If I'd seen this straight yeah. through at 11 o'clock at night, uh, I might have given it a 10. Right. Yeah, so yeah. our average is a 9.4. It's at 81% on the tomato meter. It is opening and limited release. Who I really hope it goes wider. Who wouldn't like this? I mean, I got it. It means one out of five critics didn't like it. It's crazy. You can't not like this movie. I don't know. So there you go. There's your blurb. Bye.